neno lake si kama la boss ama la mtu ama hata la nani sitataja majina wakati mmoja kulikuwa na mtu mmoja ambaye alikuwa ni ofisa wa jeshi and his name he was called by the bible calls him a centurion man that came to jesus one time and he asked jesus let me read matthew 5 5 now when jesus had entered capernaum a centurion came to him pleading with him saying lord my servant is lying at home paralyzed dead fully tormented and jesus said to him i will come and heal him there the centurion answered and said lord i am not worthy that you should come under my roof but only speak a word somebody say speak a word asema vizuri speak a word hilo neno aliongea wangu na mtu ambaye hana imani hallelujah mtu ana imani ya kwamba even with without your presence your word can still do miracles that is the man who said and in fact he convinced Jesus by saying for i also am a man under authority having soldiers under me and i say to this one go and he goes and to the other one come and he comes and to my servant do this and he does it and jesus was like wow what a faith what a faith mpaka yesu aka confess hajasikia mtu mwingine mwenye imani kama hiyo akusema ya kwamba lazima yesu akuje kwangu nyumbani alisema mimi hata sikutaki mimi mwenyewe nina watu ambao wako chini yangu nikiwaambia enda na useme na anaenda na anasema au akamwambia jesus what i need from you is a word when you speak a word i know it shall manifest itself to the person wherever it is in whatever condition he is bwana asifiwe and today we are asking the lord to speak a word how many are saying and came expectant saying that lord may you speak a word i just need to hear you speaking a word maybe you unakojea hiyo neno unasikia kwamba si aseme tu nikienda nitafaulu si aseme tu nikienda kwa hiyo visa nitapata si aseme hiyo passport naenda kuichukua leo si aseme hiyo ticket ya ndege ninaipata si aseme hiyo kazi nilifanya interview ni yangu si aseme ya kwamba harusi yangu itakuwa na hakuna kitu kitazuia somebody say hallelujah somebody say hallelujah a word si aseme tu mimi nimebarikiwa na nianze kuona hizo baraka wangapi wanasikia wanataka neno neno a word from the lord i also need the word of the lord i just need that word praise the lord when he says yes his yes is not i think it is a yes when he says i will bless you he's not saying i think i will bless you it is exactly what he says i will bless you somebody say amen somebody say amen somebody say amen sometimes sometimes tunaendanga mahali na tunasema ya kwamba mungu si useme neno wakati mwingine atakutumia wewe roho mtakatifu atakutumia atatumia roho mtakatifu ndani wako na kile utakachosema kwa hiyo interview utaingia tu hivi uko like mungu nitetee and then the lord will say a word through you and through the holy spirit you will answer one question and they'll look at say who is this person one time i went to us and you know kuchukua ndege hapa na kwenda us aimalishia kwamba unaweza pita immigration na uende unaweza kufika immigration na urudishwe kenya and so katika hapo immigration nilipoingia they ask me so many questions and they 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 ask me this question that i was not prepared unajua zingine unakuanga umeji umeji prepare akiniuliza hivi nasema hivi akiniuliza hivi nitasema hivi akiniuliza hivi nitasema hivi so akaniuliza ukienda unaenda kukaa wapi because barua yangu imeonyesha kwamba naenda kukaa kwa kanisa imesema ya kwamba unaenda kanisani umeitwa na kanisa so unaenda kukaa kwa nani siku nimeji prepare kama naweza sema unajua ile utaki kujibu vizuri sana usiharibie ule mtu wako huko mimi sijui kama ana barua maybe ana barua ya kukaa huko alafu nianze kupeana addresses zake so wakaniuliza unaenda kukaa wapi Roho mtakatifu naye akaingia ndani. Nilijua nirudi kujua because hakuna anakuangalia hivi. Utakaa wapi? Where are you going to stay? Na nikamwambia katika Anglican Church 
because I'm from Anglican church and the church that has invited me is an Anglican church. There is a, a house that is called Vicar Ridge. Or rector. Uko wana muitanga rector. Sasa akailewa vile nimesema. And that house belongs to the vicar or the visitors that go there. So that is where I will be. Ainiangalia kabaya. You are welcome. Iyo ilikuwa kama ni kampego. Iyo ilikuwa kama nini? So the same thing nilisema iliembatana na zile barua na ile address nilikuwa nimepeana. Sometimes utaulizwa swali mahali. Na mungu atasema neno. Akiwa ndani yako through the Holy Spirit. Somebody say amen. In fact there is a word that says that. Let me see. In the, in the book of Matthew. Let me see. Kama nitaipata. Um, uh, just a minute. In fact, in the book of Luke, Luke 12, 12 says, For the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say. Somebody say amen. amen. In that very how Paul Yesu atanena akiwa ndani yako akipitia Roma takatifu Matthew pia Matthew 10:20 nasema for it is not you who speaks but it is the holy spirit of your father who speaks in you somebody say amen, amen. somebody say amen. amen we need a word somebody say we need a word sasa ilete kwako sema i need a word ah sema i need a word Mimi sijui leo hii neno imekuja kwa sababu ya nani? Sijui ni nani anaenda wapi? Sijui nani anagojea interview wapi? Sijui lakini najua anga neno la Mungu halikujangi bure. Linaweza kosa kuja kwa sisi wote, lakini limekuja kwa mtu. Nasema absence limekuja kwa mtu. Limekuja kwa mtu ambaye anasema nitafanya nini? Don't you worry about anything. For the Holy Spirit will speak in you the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to say this. I want you to sing this song. A new song. Has never been heard. But a new song. And we are going to sing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to speak. We want to ask of the word of God. Say a word, speak a word, and I will be with God say, say a word, 
Speaker what? And I'll be well. Say a word, say. say a word. Speak, a word. Speak a word. And I will behold. And I will be whole. Now say the passion. Say a word. Say a word. Speak a word. And I'll be well. And I will be well. Say a word. Speak a word. And I will be whole. And I will be. Everybody open your voice. Say it again. Say it away. Speak away. And I will be where. And I will be. Say Speak away. And this is how you're going to declare it. You say.
will be well. Come on and say, I'll be well, child. I'll be well. Say a while. Say a while. May it be well with you. You are not be well. I'll be well, child. And I'll be And you will be home Say I will be home I'll be home Say I will
Shida sema nita shida Nita shida Nita shida mimi Ukisema nebo Nita shida Ilu wa sauti titangazi ya nita shida Nita shida Heba Oh, my God. 
How many believe with that one they'll be whole? Say I'll be whole. I'll be whole. I'll be whole. I'll be whole. Say I'll be whole. Say I'll be whole. I'll be well. I'll be well. I'll be well. I'll be well. Say I'll be whole. And I'll be well. Lift your voice.
listen. As he speaks, we must be attentive to his voice. Because there are so many other voices out there. Masauti kutoka kwa marafiki. Masauti kutoka kwa wazazi. Masauti kutoka all over. Na sauti zingine azikaribiza Mungu hata kidogo. In fact sauti nyingi. Sasa lazima ukue mwangalifu. Ndiyo uweze kuelewa sauti ya Mungu. Hata tukiiba hapa usiku wote na tuamukie. Tutoke huku Tuesday ijayo jioni tukisema neno. Na bado hujaweka moyo wako tayari wa kunenewa. Uja ujajialign, ujajiposition mahali pa kunenewa. Ujatega masikio yako ya kiroho unenewe. It will be in vain. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm saying praise the Lord. Yeah. We have our part to do. Tuko na upande wetu. Anapokuja kunena, anapotoa sauti because sasa yote yanatoanga sauti, anatuneneanga. How busy are we to listen to his voice? Or how attentive are we to listen to his voice? It is either unaweza kuwa una, unataka unataka akunenee kile wewe unataka. Ulitoka nyumbani kwa sababu hauna house rent na hujalipa. Kwa hivyo sasa unaangalia hapo. House rent hapo. Na si anaweza kukunenea kitu kingine tofauti na house rent na hiyo kitu ikakuja kulipa hasa au house rent. Mtu aseme amen. Mtu aseme amen. To see force sasa ni tuna forcingi Bwana kupitia mlango. Eh tunataka upitie hii. Bwana nenea, 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 nenea sarakei, nenea sarakei. Akinipatia tu microphone pale mbele. Nenea, nenea sarakei. Anaweza kosa kunenea sarakei but anenea mtu mwingine hapo na mtasalimiana tu. Maana you allowed him to speak. Si si nafasi yako ya kudictate ataongea aje. Ukishamwambia nena na ufungue moyo wako nena na ujialign ili anene na ufunge masikio yote anene na ufunge mawazo yako anene ili mawazo yako yasikunene Unatokanga hapo unasalimiana na mtu tu hata maybe ya huko hata ni ile hata huko ana mood Una habari zenu mzuri na anasema mzuri haya how are you mbona naona kama nakujua na hajai kukuona Hapo hapo mnaanza you look familiar you look familiar you look familiar it is like i know you Kumbe ni Mungu anafanya connection wakati hiyo inasema you look familiar you look familiar. Ulisomea Kagundo hapana hata sijaienda huko. So wakati mnatafutana ni Mungu anafanya nini? Connection zake. Maana Mungu ana njia zake za kufanya kazi. Mtu aseme amen. Mtu aseme amen. Mungu ana njia zake za kufanya kazi. So usimwambie nena na kuna kile unamwambia anene. Nena. Alafu unamwambia uko ndani unajua nini unataka anene si umwache anene kile anachotaka kunena kwa sababu kunena kwake kunaleta utofauti haijalishi kama hiyo kunena inaambatana na your needs but as long as the lord speaking that's it it will make all the difference somebody say amen somebody say amen somebody say hallelujah akanena akasema jacob by love eso na ikakuwa hivi na kutoka kuzaliwa kukawa kuna mvurugano maana hili hili vijana hapa lilisha tangaziwa lime neno liisha toka mtu aseme haleluya so haijalishi kile Mungu atanena ama kinapendeza nani ama kipendezi nani akinena because as ngine haneni kitu kitakupendeza Maybe unaomba house rent na maybe amenena just an example si semi utoe amenena ya kwamba hiyo pesa uko nayo 5000 enda kwanza upande mbegu unasikia nena nena mzapoa ati 5000 bwana ni hitu niko nayo nena nafunga macho nafunga kabisa lakini unaona hiyo 5000 tu hapa nafungua macho na angalia juu nena anitapo unataka usikie akisema ya kwamba your house rent is paid fully three months ama chochote kile uko nacho maybe ni school fees maybe university ujalipa hata wa leo kuna mtihani unastahili kufanya na uwezi fanya unamwangalia nena 
Na sisemi ni vibaya kuangalia hivyo Mungu. Ni vizuri kumwambia mahitaji yetu. But unaposema nena, fungua moyo wako wazi. Anaweza nena akipitia njia nyingine yoyote. Haleluya. Haleluya. One time I was driving my very fast car. Very. Ile unasikia anga umenunua by faith. Na nishai testify hapa. Na sasa hiyo ni gari ya nguvu. Vits. Those days. Those days wewe. Hata hizi zimekuwa nyingi nyingi hivi. Hazikuwa nyingi hivi. So vits. One time ninaambia Mungu nataka kununua gari ya juu kidogo. Kubwa kubwa kidogo. Unajua see he takes us from one level to the other. So ni kuna kagari nilikuwa nimeona kako juu kidogo. And one time I was driving, naambia Mungu, nitakubariki sana. Alafu ananiambia, "Hii utapeana." Nasema, "Mm." Mm-hmm. Uh. Sana na wewe una kiherehere. Hiyo ni mimi, hiyo sio Mungu. Natiambia, "Hiyo ni hiyo si mimi." Amini hiyo sio Mungu, hiyo ni mimi najiambia. Wachana hizo mambo za kupeana kali. Mungu siku moja atakutajirisha na utakuwa na peana. Naendelea tu. Na hii gari upeane. Ukipeana hii gari na kubariki na gari nyingine. Let me tell you. By the time ni, nikasikia kwamba imekuja not fast, not second time. That time nikajua that is not me. That was not me. That was God telling me, give out this vehicle and you'll see what I will do. And what else can you say? Yes, Lord. Hata kama utasema ukuru unalia, hata utoe makamasi, lazima utaobe. Kama unataka kufika hapo. Mtu waseme amen. Saa zingine kuobe mungu si raisi. Ni haba tu tunasema nena. Lakini kuna vitu watanena. Upstairs. Kuna mtu wamesikia kuna vitu wananena hapo. Najua sahi kuna watu wananena. Kuna vitu watanena mpaka ushakaya. Saa zingine kunataka tuwe nene, nimekubariki. Nimekuinua. Hey, utaendelea. Umepewa promotion. Kuna wakati mwingine atanena. Aseme, hii salari yako ya kwanza, hebu peleka kwa madhabahu yako. Useme, hiyo ni Mungu kweli. Hivyo ndivyo Abrahamu alisikia. Hivyo. Halipoambiwa ya kwamba mtoto amepojea miaka yote, miaka yote. Yaani na kile Mungu tu ananena na sadaka zote Ibrahimu ametoa kutoka miaka yake yote ajijue alikuwa mtu wa imani mtu wa Mungu anapatia Mungu sadaka zake anatoa dhabihu anachoma yani Mungu ameona tu ule mtoto amepeana moja moja hivi na akamwambia I want you to sacrifice this son Isaac it was not easy I am sure it was not easy na mimi ninafikiri Sara hakujua wale watu wanaitangwa Sara si simple. Sara hange angejua angemwambia ni what are you talking about? Enda ukaombe tena Isaka twende. Na Muhammad kwanza aulizange Mungu mkiwa mmehama. Lakini Abraham alitii. Ni katika kutii wakati umechukua hiyo sacrifice na umetoa unaenda kutoa anakuonyesha next level that you are going. Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. It is not easy. As we tell God nena, ni nini tunataka kusikia? Good things. Maybe hiyo kesi uko nayo unataka kusikia kwamba hii kesi imeisha. Na maybe anataka ufungwe. Maana wewe kuna mtu huko unaenda ku kuhubiria aokoke. Na kwa hivyo lazima uende. One time tumetoka Samima. Powerful Tuesday, powerful. Tuesday tumetoka Tumeimba tumelia ah, it was that day i remember but that day si kufika kwangu nililala central police i was asking god why kwa nini nena nani tabona nena baba nena unataka nene nini nena eba Remember that day tulikuwa tunaimba nyimbo za nifanye nitengeneze nifinyange mpaka hawa ah, nakumbuka niliokopa kuimba hizo nyimbo za nifinyange juzi juzi ndio tena nimezianza nimekaa sana mimi nilikuwa nasikia mtu anaimba nyimbo za nifinyange naangalia kwingine hivyo nafanya finywa fin finywa finywa wewe 
because after powerful service kutoka samima ifinyange nitengeneza niunde police central na iko mchezo ni lala then the following day all the askaris most of them are coming they have sarakea yako kwa cell so they were coming imagine in the morning nywele ujachana uko nimenalia cement mpaka huyu wangapi wamesha ralia hiyo cement una mkambo huko umefurafura hivi na sasa hiyo ndio wanasema kai sara unajua hiyo ni majaribu unasikia kama utamwambia mungu lakini unasema kwa utukufu wa mungu na smile yes nena ah oh nena oh nena to how about ushughulikia ataunenea lakini usiwe umeshikilia kuna kile unataka wacha akunenee maana anakunenea kitu anaona ya kwamba kina faida kwako atakunenea kitu ambacho kitakupeleka level nyingine mtu aseme amen sijui kama mnaamini hebu sema amen lakini unajua watu wataka ngio mahubiri ya kusikia kwamba unanenewa vitu ngumu mnagojea amesema hapa unanenewa Mungu anaenda kukupatia visa na mimi sisi hawezi patiana visa na patiana anga. Tumesikia maushuhuda hapa amefanya, si ndio? Lakini pia fungua moyo. Aseme chochote atakacho. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is not easy, but when he speaks we need to obey. Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. Karibu Yesu, karibu.
Naposema nena Kwanza kuna watu wanastahili mio yao iponyo Kuna watu wamejeruhi, wamejeruhiwa Kuwa na watu wamekua hurt Until they are hurting other people Kwa sababu mio yao imejeruhiwa Imejeruhiwa na familia Imejeruhiwa na marafiki Imejeruhiwa na watumishi wa mungu Imejeruhiwa na wa Kristo Imejeruhiwa na wa Toto May the Lord heal you now May the Lord heal you now I say may the Lord heal you now Wacha anza na kuponya hiyo mioyo Watch our pony. Watch our pony. 
Wacha waponye Wacha waponye Wacha waponye Wacha waponye Ponya Ponya baba 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 Ponya matu wako leo Umenena lakini maumifu ya moyo Imewafunga wasisikie Unacho sema usiku wa leo Ponya Wengine wali umizu wa na wake wao Wengine wali umizu wa na waume wao Wengine wame umizu wa na mafiensi Ponya baba Ponya baba Ponya Jehova Ponya Jehova Wengine wame umizu wa kazi ni vibaya Waponye baba Waponye baba Ponye baba Ponye baba Ponye baba Ata upepo na u 
tutakavyo na ndivyo nilianza na kukuambia anene atakavyo sio vile sisi tutakavyo yeye atakavyo sema amen sema amen sema amen mungu anasema kwamba wamwambia kwamba wewe ni mungu peke yako unatawala peke yako kila kitu ni chako utende utakavyo useme utakavyo unene utakavyo utache utakavyo hata mimi ni wako na sisi
eh anasema ya kwamba mpatie hiyo moyo kwanza mpatie hayo maisha kwanza mpatie hiyo mwenendo kwanza mpatie hiyo give him your life and then from there you'll be able to see clearly right now you want him to say what you want what you need what you prefer but he say you came here and you know very well you have you have never received you have never accepted Jesus as your savior he's telling you to come and say yes to the lord they are coming nena nena keep coming nena nena thank you jesus nena mungu ameongea tofauti mimi nimenenewa sijui wewe umenenewa aje kuna wale wamenenewa wakaambiwa leo usiende nyumbani ulivyokuja eh hey! hey! eh wewe ni Mungu peke yako sema unatawala unatawala peke yako kila kitu we. kila kitu baba ni chako unatendeka usemalo wewe ni Mungu we. Ni 
Nilikwambia wakati unataka kuja kuokoka, acha kuangalia wale watu wameokoka na hawajaokoka. Kuna watu wamezoea kusema, ah, mimi naweza taka kuokoka lakini uokovu ni wa kina nani? Ana uongo, sio si mwokovu. Kwani unjaona watu wameokoka wako na ukweli? Kuko nao, sema kuko nao. Sema kama sisi. So acha kuangalia wale walikukoa, walikudanganya na wameokoka. Hao ni jina. Kana na dhawani si kete. Si Qur'an ile. Hiyo ni kusema nina Kiswahili. Ngano na zawani zikulanile. Ngano na magugu ziote pamoja. Haleluya. Na Mungu alialao hiyo. So hautakosa katika kanisa hautakosa wezi. Hautatokosa watanganyifu. Wako watu wa kukon. Watakuwa na natukinua mikono wanafanya nini? Mbona unaangalia hao na washerati wako huko? Eh. Hata wengine wanasavu. Eh wengine wako katika huko kwa pale juu na wako pangi madhabahu itawachoma mtu anatoka hapo ama mtu anakuja asubuhi mbio 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 amechelewa kidogo kwa sababu kuna kamtu kalilala kwake shindwe shindwe kabisa na unakuja ama una unacheza mpaka tunasikia kama bingu ita na kupe ujajazwa na roho umejazwa na zile vitu umenara ukifanya usiku ishindwe kwa jina la Yesu na wewe unajua huyo mtu anakuanga hivyo so unashangaa hii wokovu ya kina nani wachana na wokovu wa kina nani okoka wokovu wa Yesu kuna wokovu wa Yesu nasema kuna wokovu wa Yesu kuna watu wamejinyima kuna watu wamejinyima umejinyima kabisa umesema mimi nitakaa na Yesu usisemange ati wasiana wote wa kanisani wa wangu wameokoka kama ulienda na mmoja na ukakuta ni ameokoka na, na ukaweza kumwii sio wote kuna wengine wamejinyima wamekaa hivi wamekaa wametulia wanasema Mungu nipatie wangu kuna vijana pia katika kanisani wamekaa na wokovu kama ni wewe unasema haleluya kama si wewe kama si wewe usiongee Unyamazi Unaitaji Yesu Sema Yesu Na kuomba Niwe kierelezo Cha wokovu Wa ukweli Uto tutabia Miachane nato Kumbe muko uku So nataka ule nakuja kuokoka Wachana kuangalia Ati mimi sitaki kuokoka nisi okoka Apana auta kuoka kama mtu Hata wezi okoka kama sarakei Utaokoka maana ni Yesu Kristo Ata kuokoa wewe mwenyewe ndio unajichagulia kurudi kwa shetani. Wewe mwenyewe rules and regulations are there. Haleluya. Usidhini, usiipe, usiongee uongo, usi si hizo zote ziko. Sasa kama unazisoma na unazijua, ukifanya hivyo si ndio umejitupendea kufanya hizo vitu. Eh, kwa hivyo useme ni watu ati kwa kwa wokovu si wa ukweli, kuna wa wokovu wa ukweli. Sema amen. Sema amen. Aya, kuja, 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 kuja huyo mwingine amepaki. Nilikuwa naona kuna mtu alikuwa amebaki kwa sababu anasema hii mimi kwenda kuoka hiyo kiokoko kuja kuokoke hii kiokoko. Jo. Come if you are there. Thank you Jesus. Ah, huyo ni wewe. Wewe unacheza wewe? Nani mwingine anakuja? Wachana huyo. I hope umeokoka. Oh, kama umejaokoka ucheze hiyo mchezo wewe. Sky cheza na madhabahu. Nani mwingine? We want to pray anyone else that is coming please. You know I insist on this because I know one number one it is not easy. The devil is fighting your destiny. Hallelujah. Shetani anapigana na destiny yako. So ndio maana sinanga haraka na ndio maana sitakangi watu wa move move wakati tunaitunaambia tuna, 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 watu wa kuji. Natakanga tutulie. Because this is a serious business. Huyo anakuja. Shangilia Yesu. 
Huyo ndio nilikuwa nimekochea. Basi taomba. Naomba tuwasaidie kuomba haya maombi tunie mikono zetu as a sign of surrendering to God. Sema Bwana Yesu. Asante kwa kunena na moyo wangu. Siku ya leo na kufungulia roho yangu uingie ndani uwe bwana na mokozi wa maisha yangu shetani hauna nafasi ndani ya maisha yangu mimi ni wa Yesu kwa moyo wangu nimeamini Kristo ulikufa na ukafufuka kwa wafu na kwa kinywa changu ninakili Yesu ni bwana naomba uliandike jina langu katika kitabu cha uzima wa milele nijaze na roho mtakatifu nikutumikie siku zote za maisha yangu asante yesu kwa kunirehemu asante yesu kwa kunisamehe asante bwana yesu kwa kuniokoa kwa jina la baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu Amen. Tupigie Yesu makofi mazuri. Pigie Bwana Yesu makofi mazuri ameokoa. Shangilia ungana na mbingu kushangilia. Mbingu zinashangilia duniani tunashangilia. Kwa mioyo ambayo imeokolewa na Yesu. Thank you Jesus. Wewe ndio unaokoa. Tunyoshe mikono zetu tuwakabidhi mbele za Bwana. Bwana Yesu ni asante. Aokoi tu bali pia unasimamisha katika wokofu. Hawa tunaweka mbele zako Jehova. Vitu ambazo ziliwarudisha nyuma wengine ambao walikuwa wameokoka siku ya leo kwa haya madhabahu tunakiri ya kwamba zitawarudisha nyuma. Tunawatenganisha na kifo, tunawatenganisha na dhambi. Hawa watakutumikia, watakaa katika nyumba yako siku zote za maisha zao. Tunakataa kila maneno yaliyonenwa kinyume chao. Maneno ambayo yalinena na waliokufa na walio hai leo hii tunayafunga na madhabahu ambayo yalinuliwa kinyume ya maisha yao katika babu zao na kisasi chao katika neema ya madhabahu haya tunayafunja katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaweka huru tunawafunika na damu yako maana watakutumikia kwa jina la Yesu tumeomba amen and amen thank you jesus amen. celebrate jesus celebrate jesus Hawa wamebarikiwa hawajalaaniwa sema amen no we born from the against them we prosper in jesus name somebody say amen Hawa wamebarikiwa sema amen wakiingia na wakitoka sema amen shetani hata wapata tena sema amen mumebarikiwa asante and then if what any pastor sami atawa kuwa pamoja nanyi dakika moja na mungu atawabariki Naomba tuketi tafadhali kama uko na mahali pa kukaa. Hata kama una unaweza kadia hiyo carpet. Bwana Yesu asifiwe nasema asante kwa wema na fadhili za Mungu sema amen we thank God for the time that we have been in his presence for sure i know the lord has spoken today to many people to many people to many people upstairs i'm saying to many people hallelujah hallelujah glory be to god i thank god today we have so many visitors kuna wale wametembea hapa for their very very first time na kabla ya hiyo nataka kwanza rafiki yangu asalimiane tu aseme tu hello because ametoka mbali sana ametoka ule ni wanja naona yes ametoka mahali kapanaitwa USA na ni rafiki yetu na church yao they are worshipers i have been to their church she is a worshiper na ana lead worship for the glory and honor of your name 
welcome. Just say hi to this church. Thank you for coming. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. I'm just humbled and happy to be here. You people, you don't know what you have. Treasure what you have. Amen. If only we could take her there. Please. We love you guys. We follow you every day. We've been praying and asking the Lord, Father, can we have what we have? Because every time I come here, I go home and I feel like, I feel so good. Amen? Amen. So please, treasure what you have. Amen? Amen. And uh, I'm just blessed to be here. Woman of God, it is an honor. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for visiting us. Amen. Um, when you finish what you're doing, I know she came here because she lost her sister, your sister, and Paula for that. And we pray that God will give you peace and comfort that surpasses all human understanding. Our sorry cannot be enough, but God will embrace you with his love and comfort you. We pray for you. And can we pray for her? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray and we pray for her and the family. At this time, O King of Glory, they are experiencing the loss of their sister, O God. The daughter, the cousin, O my God, I pray that you may embrace them, O Lord. It is not easy, my God, but I know there is nothing comes without your knowledge. And because of that, Father, you are full of peace, you are full of goodness, you are full of mercies, you are full of comfort, O Father. May you release to them, O my God. May you release unto them, O God. We can, they can ask so many questions, O Lord, and you have the answers. You can answer if you want, and sometimes you, feel, you, you just feel that you don't need to answer anyone because that is who you are. But God, I know you will do the things that no man can do. And that is giving them your comfort, your peace, your love, your, your, your embrace, oh God. And that they will feel, even if and regardless of what has happened, you are still God and you remain the same. This is just a season. May you take them through, oh Lord. And my Father, may you stand with them. That gap nobody else can fill. But God, that, that loneliness nobody else can fill. That friendship nobody else can fill. That sisterhood, nobody else can fail. But you, God, you know the way to fail it. Do it, O King of glory, for the glory and honor of your name. For this I pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you, and we'll see you soon. Amen. Let's appreciate her. Ata ajapo mizika, amekuja tui juzi. Na Oregon ni mbali sana, mbali mbali sana. And I want somebody else to say hi. Hi, peke yake. Umesikia? Hi. I said, menini? Hi. Sasa huyu anaitangwa Jane. Oh. Ah, ah, mesema Jane. Kuja Jane. Alafu ushikwe mkono. Na huyu habi wako. Akulete hapa. I'm so honored to stand on this altar again with you, Mark. We honor you. Thank you for setting the pace and showing us the way. We love you and we honor you. This is my husband of 16 years. <laughs> Pastor Donna. Come on and celebrate, Bwanaangu. Celebrate, Bwanaangu. <laughs> yeah, let him say hi. Hello, church. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Since I met you, we've got two maramoja to Malizi. Evo two. Yebeneza, 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 you've been my God. Yebeneza, 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 you've been my 
I want to hear you, church, Ebenezer. Lift your hand, please. Lift your hand, please. 
we want to welcome you in a style hallelujah aliye karibu na wewe msimamishe na umuhaga kama ni haga bo kama si haga bo wachane na yeye umuhaga umuhaga wengine makofi makofi mpaka kule juu makofi thank you jesus let us give our offering today and the lord will bless us And as we give our offering, I want to announce that Edu's wedding is on. Tarehe ngapi? Tarehe ngapi? Sema tarehe sita. Aya sema na kikwako. Idada tu, sema na kikwenu. Good. So ndiyo usisahau tarehe sita, ni jumamosi, St. Peter's, mpahali panaitua kahawa sukari, ACK St. Peter's, hapo ndipo tutakuwa. Nyinyi wote muna harikuwa, muna harikuwa, muna harikuwa. Hiyo yote ni Kiswahili tu. Mnaalikwa na God our bless sana. Remember ya kwamba tuko na kesha tarehe kumi ambapo tuko nyiri. Sema nyire. Uga nyire. Hapana inasemanga na kinyiri. Nyiri awaongee kama wewe unasema anga nyire, nyire. Watu wenyewe wako wapi mnasemanga aje? Nyire. Eh mwero atirele. Tukaasie nyire. Ni mwanita. Saba tunaenda nyiri tarehe kumi Sema tarehe kumi Mwezi wa tano tuko nyeri na mtakucha na Mungu atawabariki na kama haukuji na uko mtu nyeri mwambie asikose i'll give you the venue shortly and god will bless you i want to pray wameanza kutoa makwanza niombe we have tithers and i thank god because through your tithing there are so many things that we are doing in this ministry so many things and my heart is is just humbled by what you are doing your giving is every time i see naambia Mungu kaitu kiradhimia doa ya kai wabariki zaidi na zaidi watende maku wafanye maku wainue na wabariki zaidi ili hata wakati tunapoenda kesha kama hiyo atu struggle mtu anakuja anauliza budget ni ngapi tunamwambia pesa anasema mimi nitatoa hii ni nini na nini kuna hii na hii na nitatoa hii na hiyo mambo tunamaliza na Mungu amewabariki kama umebarikiwa sema amen sema amen father in the name of jesus i pray for the people that are here and they are giving oh lord there are those who are not here that, that are watching online and they have also been giving i pray for the tithers thank you lord thank you because my father tithing is not giving it is pain and they are faithful to do that my father may you rebuke every devourer in their life every diseases in their lives every calamity in their lives every accident and incident in their life because that is what your word says i pray that your word may manifest in their lives as they continue to pay their tithes my father you will continue to do them good i bless them wherever they are oh lord them that are here today them they are online them that have been giving for in this week oh lord them that have been that will be giving lord i pray that you may continue to bless them increase them uplift them and my father may you show your favor upon them i pray for the givers oh lord them that are giving offerings and thanksgivings and seeds i pray that you may continue to bless them oh father what a wonderful god we are you are there was a time we could not think that we will do things we could we will do things that we are doing today but look at us lord if it is it was not for you to be on our side who are we who could we be who would we be who are we lord without you we bless your name thank you for touching them thank you for increasing Thank you for, for 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 helping them to give. I lift them to you, O God, that you may do them good. For this I pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mtu aseme amen. amen. Now listen. Last week somebody gave us 100,000. 100 for for the screen that is outside already. The TV. Another woman of God said that she will give 200,000. So we have we have 300,000 isn't it somebody gave 10,000 we have 300 and another one gave 10,000 we have 100 100 and but we need more though we have the tv we need to pay the balance then the balance is 475 minus 300 and 20 do your math that is the minus that we have and i know somebody somewhere will be touched to do that and God will bless you. Amen. At least today tunashukuru hata kama bado sijui kama imesetiwa vizuri ama ikoaje but we are, we have we are somewhere. We are going 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 
520087, that is TIN number. You can use account 247247. Nine, account number is 955000. You put hash and you give, you write according to what you're giving, and the Lord will do good. Give generously, give cheerfully. Ebenez, 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 Ebenez.
mountain to close for us with a word of prayer. Ebenezer. Ebenezer. This farm. This ministry. This farm. Oh my God, it is me. This farm. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we say thank you. What a delight being in your presence. We say thank you because you have never gathered us in vain. Lord God, we say thank you because we are going back home with answers, O oh God. With direction, O oh King of Glory. With affirmation of what you want us to do, even in this season. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say thank you because you will cover each and every one of us with the, with the blood of Jesus. Everything that we have received in your presence, it will not be snatched by the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray that Jehovah God will continue to gaze on you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, guide us and order our steps. Continue guide us, guiding us, O King of Glory. I pray with all my heart that our hunger for you will continue to increase. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Bible says that we, you will open up our mouth and fill it. I pray, King of Glory, the way you have filled us, O King of Glory, we will know how to come back again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we will know how to tarry in your presence. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, will you uh, set us on fire and send us to the world and then let the world see us burn for you in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you even for our mama, King of glory. Continue preserving her, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jehovah, Lord God, for her life and her family. Lord God, we cover her with the blood of Jesus. Continue preserving her, oh King of glory, for our generation, in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you and we honor you, for it is in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. I pray that the angels will go before you, Amen. behind you, Amen. side by side, Amen. up and down. Amen. No accidents, Amen. no incidents. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. No carjacking, Amen. no kidnapping, Amen. no hijacking. Amen. Nobody will ask any question. Amen. You are invisible Amen. to any evil attackers. Amen. I declare you are invisible Amen. to any evil attackers. Amen. You are all protected. Amen. May the fire of God surround you. Amen. As you go and approach to your gates, I pray that nobody will ask you any question. You shall enter to your houses safely. Amen. Even when we, those that are, that are walking, yes. even if you are using Boda Boda, yes. or your vehicle or anybody's vehicle, I declare they are safe in the name of Jesus. Amen. Nobody will enter that gate. All oh, planning to do evil will succeed because the angel is on those vehicles. I declare we are safe now. I declare we are safe in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And now may the grace and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now. Surely. Anyone that has uh, that contribution towards the television, you can see me, you can see Sumi. She's somewhere. Ask any Asha Sumi and you'll be directed and the Lord will bless you.